Hey friends, as promised, we're gonna do the backyard orchard tour. And it is gonna be the first one. So there are some sad parts of it and some really, really exciting ones. I can't wait to show you. If you haven't done so already, subscribe so you can uh, turn on your notifications and you'll get updates on how they're doing. And comment below and let me know what you think and if you have some ideas for the areas that are doing so well. I'm currently in the vegetable garden entry and we're gonna walk around. If you're new here, this is a recent remodel. It's only two years old. I'll link the video so you can see the progress from where it was at to where it's at now. It hasn't been too long. It's really windy, humidity <laughs> is insane. But let's get started. Remember we just had the freeze last month and both my lime and my lemon tree completely lost all their leaves and i thought i was going to lose them but because i put them in the garage check them out aren't they gorgeous they completely filled all the new foliage is healthy i did prune it a lot right after it lost all its leaves and it's coming right back both of them they're doing so well see right here there's a couple that I need to come back and prune but overall it's doing so good and my lemon is actually thriving it's better than the lime but the lime did have a lot of blooms before I think it struggled a little bit more moving on over these are my two pomegranates I'm not sure if they're doing any good I did just cut back some of the new growth that comes from the roots. This one was coming out of dormancy just before our freeze. So there's a lot of areas that are very dead. So I'm not sure if it's still alive. I did test a couple areas over here to see if there was any green and there isn't. So I'm hoping that there is some at the bottom. I have high hopes for it. I was really expecting it to fruit this year, so I really hope that I don't have to replace them. These are my peaches and nectarines. Some are blooming. The first one that bloomed is that one right there, and you see it's, it's got all the freeze damage, and I'm not sure if it's going to even keep the rest of the branches because that had new growth, but you see how it's dying? And I don't see any new growth at the bottom. So I don't know what's going on in there. And only one side has new growth. And it looks pretty healthy. This was my favorite. And she was doing so good. But I don't know what I will do with just one live branch. I don't know how that works. And it's all because it broke dormancy right before our freeze. But the other one seemed to do well now they were dormant they're blooming and they're filling in I'm just probably gonna have a big gap there my apricots and my plums have been my star out here for a while and you can see that they are all green now and guess what <laughs> look we have apricots this is the first time I have apricots. And I have some really large ones already. You see? I can't believe it. I hope they stick around. Look at my apricots. They're so gorgeous. I have so many. There's so many up here. <laughs> those two are my apricots and these two are the plums both of them bloom white and I still have some blooms and I believe I might have some plums too I think we're forming some plums you'll have to wait next month we'll see them more clearly over on this side I have three cherries and an apple I love the way the cherries look there's no foliage in the bottom yet, but I think it's going to fill up pretty soon. 
I don't see any signs of blooms yet. So I think we are still trying to grow some more before that happens, maybe next year. If my cherry tree blooms, it would be from only this fruiting wood, which I think I only have this one, maybe two more over there. It looks like I might have a bloom, but we'll see. Not quite sure. If I do, I'm excited just to see what they look like because I have no idea. Now I did add an apple in this cluster just because when I first did this, I had an apple there already and I wanted four new apples and this was the only other spot for it. Um, I think it'll look okay. Not sure, but <laughs> I should have gotten another one so we can have four here. But the planning didn't work out that way. Maybe next time. If you want to know the varieties of trees that I have, check out the link below. I will have that information there. All the trees that bloomed before the freeze are the ones that had problems. And this one's one. We had all the blooms here and they pretty much died. And now we have just this. It did have a couple additional blooms that I don't think that I'll have apples this year. And this one's newer than the other ones. That's why it's so small. I had to replace my original here. So it'll take a little bit for this one to grow. But all of these are breaking dormancy. And the pears, got two pears. And this pear over here bloomed for the first time this year. And these pears I had a lot of trouble with because we have a lot of aphids. But I'm gonna keep an eye out on them early and so far so good now my figs and i'm really sad about my figs because i really do think that they are not doing well at all this one has these signs of bedwood i'm sure it's all dry in there and i have to cut it back pretty low i don't have any signs of life at the top i even see that we have a crack here so I think this is probably not going to survive. You see right there, that wasn't there. And I don't have any growth here. But I do see growth in the bottom. And I don't know if I should just cut a bag and let that grow. That would mean I would start from scratch again. And I don't know if I wanna do that. You guys let me know because I really don't have too much information on it yet. The same thing with this one. But the only thing about this one is that it does have growth a little bit higher. That just came up, but it's not too much higher. But I do have a lot of growth here in the bottom, but there's no growth on all of this. And I think it's because it was breaking dormancy. Now this funky looking one, <laughs> it just looks so weird, does have better signs. You see, I've got some growth here and this is about four feet high and there's growth there there all down here so i'm really excited because this is actually the better tasting fig out of all of them it's super sweet and this is a brown turkey fig so i'm probably gonna have to cut all the way to here if this is my only growth area i really do hope that some survive because my daughter's already asking me when am I gonna have some figs? <laughs> uh, now for the sad part. The really sad part. It's all dead. They didn't come back. Well, the only ones that came back was the lemon and lime and that is because I put them in the garage and that's because they're in containers. Now, maybe I could have pulled them out but I didn't have room for them. I didn't have containers. I was just not prepared for that. And there's no sign of any life. So they're gonna go and I already have some replacements. So it's exciting, but it's <laughs> terrible. I have to start all over again. This entire area is gone. Even this side that's a little bit more covered because I have the brick wall here. But yeah, it's, it's, it's time to pull them out and I've been waiting to do this video so that I can do that. 
I will have a video showing you what I do to put the new citrus. But basically I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to set this citrus over there. And I have two avocados that I purchased which are going to probably be more on this side. And I don't think I'm going to do mango as much as I want it because I didn't find them. I went to my local nursery to go look for them today and all of their mango trees are pretty much done. They're trying to keep them alive and maybe next year they'll look good, but I'm not going to plant mangoes this year, which is pretty sad because I thought I was going to at least get a chance to try one at some point, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna do all citrus and then two avocado trees. I didn't find all the citrus that I wanted. I only found four. I also wanted to find a guava tree. So I'm not sure if I can still do that. I didn't buy all the replacements because I'm waiting for that. But I do know for sure that I loved the green on this side and I had more green here and I want that to be closer on that end. Hopefully I don't get you dizzy. But I want it closer over there so that we can have green all year long and we can see it all the time. That area doesn't have green all year long so I at least want to be able to go outside and still see some green. On this area, it's, it was hidden most of the time. I did want to show you that there is some growth here, but this is on the graph side. I don't know what this is, so this is not what I want. You want the new growth to be from the graph up and all this is dead. Which is kind of strange that this is alive and you can see it. Let me get close. Do you see that? It's like perfect. This side is all alive and from the grafted area above is just gone. Can you even see the avocado tree? <laughs> it's there and it's so bad. It looks so bad. It's terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the citrus along here and then the avocado is going to come over here on this side. I'm going to have the two avocado trees here. And remember I mentioned having sunflowers on, on the orchard bed? Well, that's what these are in the back. They're actually doing really well. And then I have some blue Victoria salvia that I saved from the raised beds. And the idea is when I walk out of the vegetable garden, you can see the blue Victoria salvia all along the edge with all those sunflowers. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be on those citrus trees, how I plant them. It's gonna be simple, but I really want to show you what I do. It's gonna be different than what I did originally when I first put them down because I've learned a thing or two since then. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.